Since hybrid rendering has been introduced into Blender, I have seen some comments from people who are disappointed with the results. I thought I would do some testing and see what the optimum tile sizes are for cycles in Blender 2.8. I have seen some videos now talking about Blender 2.8 and render tile size. It seems that in 2.8 you can use smaller tile sizes now compared to Blender 2.7, which require larger tile sizes for cycles GPU rendering. When I was rendering in 2.79, I found that for an animation at 1920 by 1080, a tile size of 512 by 512 was the best when rendering with my GPUs. For CPU rendering, you needed to use smaller tile sizes to get the quickest renders. I was using tile sizes between 32 by 32 and 64 by 64. That has now changed in Blender 2.8, especially for GPU rendering. I conducted some tests using some of the scenes I have created and the classroom benchmark scene to find out what the best tile size for rendering the cycle CPU, GPU and hybrid are. The first test I carried out was with my Lipid tutorial. I took a random frame and rendered it out using tile sizes from 16x16 16 16 to 512x512 512 512, using both the CPU, GPU and hybrid GPU and CPU rendering. So for this scene a tile size of 32x32 32 32 was the fastest for both CPU only rendering and hybrid CPU and GPU rendering. Whereas a tile size of 256 by 256 was the fastest for GPU only rendering. And this stayed consistent for this machine with the red blood cell animation, as you can see here. The next scene I tested was a classroom benchmark scene. For this scene a tile size of 16 by 16 was fastest for CPU only and hybrid rendering. A tile size of 32 was fastest for the GPU but only by one second compared to a tile size of 16. And this stayed consistent for all the machines I tested on. In each case, 16 by 16 was the best for CPU and hybrid, while 32 was the best for GPU only. Interestingly, both 16 by 16 and 32 by 32 rendered the same for hybrid rendering. Now on my laptop, things changed slightly. The Lipid scene was the best on 32 by 32 as per my main computer, but now for CPU and GPU, while well, hybrid rendering was fastest at a tile size of 16 by 16. And when I tested the Lipid scene again, but this time on my other workstation, the results were different. 16 by 16 was fastest for CPU, 256 by 256 for GPU, and 32 by 32 for hybrid. So as you can see, the optimal tile size depends on your scene and your computer specs. In saying that, 32 by 32 worked out to be the most consistent setting, with 6 of the renderings being the fastest on the CPU, 7 on the GPU, and 6 when rendering with both the CPU and GPU. All of these tests were rendered on PCs running Windows 10. I would be very interested in finding out in the comments if people are getting different results on other operating systems. There are a couple of other settings for rendering I want to quickly cover. In the Tiles drop-down you will see a setting called Order and another called Progressive. The Order drop-down simply changes the order that the tiles are rendered. Hilbert Spiral is the default. Then you have Bottom to Top, Top to Bottom, Left to Right, etc. They pretty much do just what they say. When I tested these I didn't really notice any difference in render times. The main reason I would use these would be if I had some detail I wanted to check. Let's say on the right side of the image. This way I can make sure that the area or object was OK before I let the whole image render. If you don't have a need for that, I would just keep it at the default of Hilbert Spiral. Progressive works much the same as your viewport rendering with cycles. It progressively refines the entire image. I found this to be much slower, up to 10 minutes slower on the test I did. One advantage of this is you can stop the image rendering when you think it is cleaned up enough. So it may be a case where you set your samples high, let's say a thousand samples, turn on progressive rendering and start the render. Have a coffee and come back and see that the image looks okay and you've only rendered 250 samples. So you could then stop the rendering and save the image. This would also be a good way to work out the best number of samples for final rendering. But for animation I would not recommend using this as it is too slow. In Blender 2.79 there was an add-on called Auto Tile Size. This would sort out the best tile size for your renderings. As far as I know it's not in 2.8 yet. Once it is, I will see how it works compared to the tests I have done. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see a video on that. So in conclusion, what have we found? 
Smaller tile sizes for hybrid rendering is best, with 32 by 32 or 16 by 16 working out to be the fastest. Render times and the tile sizes you have are very dependent on the scenes you are creating and the hardware you have. I would recommend testing this with a typical scene that you would create rather than using a benchmark scene as it will give you a much better indication of your optimal tile size. When testing, I would recommend rendering your test image a few times so you can get an accurate result. I hope that you all find this useful. I think everyone may come out with different results depending on their scenes, hardware and OS. Thank you and remember, subscribe so you can be notified of future tutorials.